Good evening, everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Marie with Casa de Marie, the little homestead in the city, wishing you lots and lots of blessings. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas with your family and friends, with good food and good laughs and some good times. We certainly did here at the homestead. Um, what I wanted to talk to you guys about was a few weeks ago, the Arctic freeze that came through most of the United States. This is the first winter that I've had with my lady, so I hadn't um, had the experience yet of freezing water and, and issues of that sort. So um, I did kind of run into that problem this year. I didn't run into problems with water freezing in the tank. I ran into issues with the water freezing inside this tube here of my bright tap chicken water. I would suggest that if you have a small flock, um, that you might uh, spend the, I think it's like 35 or $40 to invest in this and invest in, in one of these. Um, it's really nice. It keeps a lot of moisture out of your coop, so you don't have to worry about the frostbite. It um, also gives them clean, fresh water all the time. It, this is easy to clean. You can simply get into your here, these little um, side uh, plugs here, which allows you to easily get in there with the bottle brush, clean stuff out. Um, even the nipples are removable so that way you can get in there and clean that if gunk gets built up over time. Um, and it also allows easy clean of this. So um, I wanted to show you guys what I did to insulate this. Um, it got down to probably about 10 or 15 below here um, in the city and with the wind chill it got even a lot colder. Um, I'm sure you've, a lot of you guys have experienced that some of you might be 50 below zero. Um, there were some parts here in Colorado that got to like 30 below zero, and then you had the wind chill on top of that, and it was really, really, really cold. Um, I think it's sometimes in cases like that, um, it's really hard to keep your water from freezing. So, um, But fortunately, I didn't have any problems with the water freezing in here. It was just the water freezing in here. So trying to think outside of the box to figure out how I could insulate this um, so my girls could still get to the water um, but that it wouldn't be freezing inside this uh, tank here. So what I did, um, in all my creativity, is I found a pool noodle. Um, some of you guys may have these around from summertime. Um, maybe the kids beat each other up with them. I know we certainly have sometimes too. So um, this actually came in as a really good resource and a really good way to insulate my chicken water. So let's get started and I'll take you through step by step on how I got my Bright Tap Chicken Water insulated. So the first thing that you want to do is you'll need some black electrical tape. You will need a pool noodle and you won't even need the full pool noodle so even if you cut you know eight or nine inches off of it it's still going to be perfectly usable inside the pool. Um, when you guys get out there for the summertime. And then you'll also need um, a box cutter or some way to get that cut. So let's get started. The first thing I did was I just measured out the length of the chicken water. Um, as you know with a pool noodle, there's the hollow end here, or the middle on the inside, so you don't have to necessarily worry about covering these up. You're still able to get to those. So what I did is I just kind of measured out the size of this here and we're going to do a cut so that way I know how long I need it to be. Of course you want to make sure you're working on a surface um, that is not, uh, if you accidentally slip up that knife you don't hurt yourself and you don't hurt your surface that you're working on. So just kind of go around and you're going to score it and you can see it easily kind of rips off. So, then what we're going to do is we're going to make, make another cut down the middle here. Get some more blade here. And if you can get your blade long enough to kind of get through to that holler center piece, there's not so much cutting that you have to do. Alright, so here we go. So you can see here, this is completely opened up. So what I, do, what I did to um, make this fit a little bit more because I kind of shaved down the inside here so this is more rounder um, along this kind of rounded edge that's on the chicken water. I hope you guys can see that. So let's go through and do that now. And of course you want to be careful. You don't want to go too, too fast and uh, cut yourself or do any damage to the surface that you're working on. You can certainly do this outside. Probably be the best way to go. 
So just kind of scraping off some of that from the inside in there. And then I'll go ahead and do that on the other side. And then I'll show you guys here when I'm done. So you can see where it's kind of giving you more of an opening and it's a little more rounder. It doesn't have such of that um, sharp edge in there. So the next thing I did was I slid this on my water. And you got to kind of stretch it out. So here you get to this point here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to score out two pieces so then that way this will fit more flush on top of the chicken water and be able to go around those nipples. So let's go ahead and do that. And I just cut out a triangle piece. It doesn't have to be anything fancy because this is going to get covered up with your electrical tape. I did make the mistake when I first tried this. I only put electrical tape around the end and then I came home and all the green parts were showing because, well, we know chickens are kind of a little ADD, like, ooh, something shiny. So I had to kind of do a little bit more work on it when I got home that first time. All right, so here we've kind of made those scores, and you can see they slide up over the nipples there, and it is a lot more flush. And it'll become more flush once we get that tape on there. Now, there's not anything here on the back, which is fine. I didn't have any problems. Um, even with this part being exposed to um, having the water inside the tank freeze. Um, the next part we're going to do is we're going to cut off a piece of the pool noodle that will fit around this small area here. This small area here is the gap that's in between your actual chicken water and your uh, igloo water tank. So again, what we're going to do is just we're going to kind of measure out the width of that. You don't want to go any much longer because, again, this goes flush up against your igloo water. So you want to make sure that it's it's pretty much about the same size. And again, it'll shrink a little bit once you get the tape on there. All right, so I made my score. So again, we're going to follow it all the way around. All right, and we'll pop that off. So here you got this. This you don't have to cut or anything. You lose a little, use a little elbow grease and you can get that slit on there. So it fits nice and nice and snug. And there you go. So now what we'll do next is we'll wrap the electrical tape around there. Um, I have the black electrical tape on there. Chickens never bothered it. They were still able to get to their nipples down here and get their water. Um, they didn't peck at any of the tape. Um, and even when I did have to get in here and clean this out for any reason, the water with the electrical tape, it didn't cause it to lift or anything like that. So you will have to get a little creative with your tape because you'll have to go around these nipples here. Um, but that's pretty much the gist of it. So let's go ahead and get, I'll take this back off and get the tape wrapped around this. Don't you hate that? You're always looking for the end of your tape. All right, here we go. And what's nice is this electrical tape, you can see, is almost the entire width of this little small circular piece that we have here. But we're going to go over it a couple times, just so that none of the green is showing. Nothing attracts, um, nothing to attract the chickens to peck at it. So, and it's kind of hard for them to kind of get to that area. So, but you know, if you have chickens, they kind of have the mindset of where there's a will, there's a way. So. Um, when they're interested in something, they definitely <laughs> make sure they get to whatever it is they're trying to get to. That's one thing I've definitely learned with my girls. All right. So we're completely wrapped around. We're going to cut that little portion off. And you know working with electrical tape, it cuts really easily. All right, so we got the whole sides of this little circular piece done. Now, with this going up against here, they're not going to be attracted to the back part. So what I did actually do is I put a couple pieces of tape 
going along here so that way it kind of covered up that green and didn't catch their attention. So let's do that. And again, you want to make sure you're doing it on a surface that if for some reason it does get damaged, it's not too much of a big deal. You could put it maybe a piece of cardboard down, um, something, you know, if you're working on your kitchen table. This here is my kitchen table, but, you know, with kids and dogs and chickens and all that good stuff, it's already got its own dents and dings, and <laughs> it's a very uh, used table. So then we're going to wrap that around nice and smooth. And you can see how it's starting to cover that up. It doesn't have to be perfect because um, this part will, um, this open part will be backed up against your igloo water and this part will be backed up against the back of this chicken water. Alright, we'll do one more piece here. And then we'll get started on wrapping up the actual water. So that part here is done, and we'll slide that back on, back on the chicken water once we get this all completely wrapped with the electrical tape. All right, so that's on there, good and snug. Let's get started. Um, so when I start the tape, I try to stop it, start it around the back, um, so that way, you know, if for any reason they did get to that, um, and they see the seams of it, um, they won't actually really see the seams of it because everything is towards the back. So we're just wrapping that around. So you notice here as you start wrapping it around you get really close to those nipples. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stop right there and make our cut. That way we can start the tape over a little bit further over from the back and then kind of go around that area. Of tape around it if you wanted to too. I just found it's a little bit easier to just kind of cut where I need to cut. And here we run right into that nipple. So we're just going to give that a quick little cut right around that nipple. And it'll kind of hug that pool noodle just like that. And then we'll get started on our next row. It was really hard trying to figure out how to get this insulated um, without doing any damage and without getting the chicken's attention. Um, and then I came across the pool noodle and I thought, well, hey, let's give it a try. And it did really work. Um, I had a little bit of problems with um, they weren't drinking as much water, so. Sometimes the, the nipples got a little stiff, but if they're drinking water and you got really hot, hot water that you're putting in your igloo container, um, I found out that it, uh, um, I didn't have that issue with it freezing. Um, so this has worked out really good, you know, because I, I work all day and, you know, my son's in school, so we're not able to go out and, you know, check the water during the day. So you just got to kind of hope and pray that everything stays the way it's supposed to um, during the day. Alright, we're almost done here guys. And then we will put some here on the end um, to cover up this green part on the end. So again, we don't want to bring any uh, Bring the chickens to say, hey, what's that? Look, something shiny. Look, squirrel. <laughs> so if you guys have any other ideas as far as insulating your chicken water, definitely leave me a comment or, or shoot me a message. If you guys have any ideas, I'm always up for 
trying something new and creative and you know this is the kind of stuff I I already have on hand we had the pool noodle on hand and we had the electrical tape on hand um, so an electrical tape isn't too too expensive if you had to go out and buy some alright so we're done with actually taping up the whole chicken water here so we'll give that one last cut and then we'll run some strips along here to get this covered up and we'll get it screwed back on. <laughs> Sometimes it's a balancing act. First strip done. We'll smooth down that tape there. We'll get this strip done. Sorry if this is a little boring. But I do have to say, this worked pretty good for me. Um, during the day, it was getting down to, you know, 5, 10 degrees, and I came home, and I was so happy to see that um, they were still able to get water out of here. And granted, they didn't drink as much water, but we all know how important it is for, for our babies to have fresh water, um, whether it's summertime or, or whether it's, you know, 10 degrees outside. You know, and being here in Colorado, you know, you definitely have to be prepared for any kind of weather. Alright, so there, we got that all covered up. You can see you can still get to the plugs on the side if you needed to get in there and clean it out. Um, if you needed to get in there for any reason, maybe pour some hot water in there or, or whatever you need to do. Like I said, sometimes these got a little stuck in here because there was a real thin layer of ice just kind of forming in here. Um, but I noticed as long as the girls were actually drinking and having that movement in there and having that flow, because um, the igloo gallon, the igloo container actually kept the water, you know, a decent temperature. Um, and like I said, the even with it getting that low, the, the water in the igloo tank definitely did not freeze. So we'll finish up this side here. I might have to do a couple, go over it a couple times here. You know, I know like most of you hear the horror stories of, you know, people trying to put heaters in their coop and um, things not working out so well and things catching on fire, you know, and that's definitely not a risk I want to take with putting something electrical in there. And my coop is, is quite a bit of ways away from the house, so to try and figure out how to run some sort of electrical wire out there in the middle of snow and, and rain and you know, cold weather and wind, and um, it just really wasn't a feasible idea for me. I'm going to do a couple more little spots here, just to make sure all that bright green from the table is covered up. Again, it's a little bit of a, a balancing act here. Gotta love tape. <laughs> Alright guys, so there you have it. Got this all completely insulated. Um, no green is showing to attract the chickens. Um, got this part insulated, so let's get the um, water put back together. We're going to screw this on. Make sure you got your black towards the facing the front and your green that will be, um, or your pool noodle that will be actually facing your igloo container. I'm going to slide this back on here. Fits real snug. Alright. 
So here we have our air delivery container that slides through there. And then what comes with the chicken water is this um, rubber seal gasket, and then we have the nut, and that gets put on through the inside of the of the igloo container. So we'll put that on. Sorry, I gotta turn this around, guys. I'm right-handed. And there is actually, oops, there is a seal that goes on the outside in here. So that's always important. All right, guys. So there you have it. You can still get to their nipples. This is nice and insulated so the water doesn't freeze inside the chicken water. This allows me to take out fresh water to my girls every day. It allows me to bring it in every night so I don't have to worry about any other kind of freezing or um, if something were to get to it and get a water source, all that's been taken away from them. So there you go. I'll show you guys the inside here. And that's where that rubber gasket and that nut just gets um, tied into. So, I hope this video is useful for you guys. Um, if you have a pool noodle laying around and you don't know how to get your water insulated for your chickens for the winter, um, go ahead and try this idea. And like I said, if you have any other comments or suggestions, just um, comment on the video and remember to like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have many, many blessings. So thank you from everybody here at Casa de Marie, the little homestead in the city.